Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. And today we're going to refill my Butane Zippo. Now, not everybody carries Zippos. Um, it's just as easy to carry, you know, Bic lighters into the woods or whatever. But when I was growing up, I had a couple of uncles who had Zippos. And I really thought that those two uncles were cool. And the Zippos remind me of them. So, I got myself a Zippo. It comes with a nice little leather pouch here. Now what I liked most about the Zippos was the sound that they make. You know, when they're flipped open and when they're closed. So, like that. You know, I, I, I don't know. It just sounds cool. Now the thing I don't like about the Zippo is that the fuel evaporates quickly. So what I did is I went online on Amazon and I picked up one of these inserts. It's a butane insert that replaces the, um, the fuel insert of a regular Zippo. Let me show you this. First of all you take out the old fuel one. And you just slide this one in just the same way and there's that little clip there that goes on the lid so you just slide that right in and it's ready to use anyway I've used this insert quite a bit over the last I don't know six months or so and now the fuel is starting to get a little bit low in it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to refuel it So like a Bic lighter, you can sort of tell how much fuel is left just by holding this up to the light and then looking through it. I guess it's about half full, maybe less. Okay, now in order to refuel these, you have to hold them upside down and then take the fuel canister. And you put it And there's the fueling hole and this little arrow screw here this adjusts the flame so if you turn this to the right uh, clockwise it'll make the flame smaller and if you turn it counterclockwise it'll make the flame higher Anyway, you're supposed to just do this like for four or five seconds at a time. So we'll push it down. One, two, three, four. Okay, it started to bubble up. So that's full now. So now we can replace this into the Zippo sleeve. Now the instructions say that you're supposed to let it sit for about 30 seconds or so before you try to light it. That's just so then the rest of the butane that happens to be on it can evaporate before it bursts into flames in your hand. Now because the sun is so bright here you probably won't see the flame so I'm just going to go into the shaded corner and then you'll see the flame. Okay, maybe you can't see the flame. I think I'll have to take you inside to demonstrate the flame. Okay, so now that we're indoors, we'll see if we can see the flame. So that burns just like a torch. So, until next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out.
For more muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.